Hi guys, how are you all doing? This is MJT Reviews, bringing you the best in model kit reviews. Hope you're all keeping well. And um, today I bring you this um, wonderful new uh, new tool in um, Jet. Um, I've seen it in the Aldi store. Aldi are selling these kits, guys. Um, the four ninety nine. So get down to your local Aldi store. And I believe they've got the HMS Victorious in there. Oh, not the Victorious, the Victory. Sorry. And they've got the Cromwell tank in there. And also, I think they've got the Spitfire and Hurricane. And they've got the Gnat. And they've got this one. Um, so, get yourselves down there. Um, these will be good for the kids for over Christmas time to get into, um, you know, basic modelling. Um, the reason why I got these is because they're fun to build. And I just enjoy building them. So, it's just something different. Something a little bit simple, you know. Um... But anyway, I believe this is one of the new toolings, and it is the Hunting Percival Jet Provost T.4. I believe it's a trainer, a training plane. It's a skill level one, and you get one flying hours for all you flying hours people out there who collect that, but I don't. And it does have some information there saying that it was introduced in the 1950s, and it quickly became... The RAF's premier jet basic trainer. So, yeah, it's a training plan. So, here we go then. So, let's check out Airfix's new tooling kit, see what they have to offer. So, what I, what I meant by that is, with it being new tool, they give a new booklet out as well. Which is nothing like Ravel's, because Ravel always put the picture on the front. But uh, Airfix have actually really, really impressed me. Yeah, these last couple of Airfix kits that I've had have really, really, really been impressive, guys. I, I cannot fault them at all. Um, so let's have a look what this kit has to offer. So let's have a look at the booklet. So this is what I meant by them changing the ways. In the original booklet, it was all black like this. It didn't have any red outlinings. Now what these are is their indications. Um, so it tells you where everything goes in the kit. So these outlines there will go there. So it's just basically telling you where they go. And how everything's all set up. And where to put everything. Just It's just to give you an idea of where everything goes so you get it all perfect. You know. Just so you have no mistakes. And I like this little feature here as well. This one's really nice actually. So you can drill two holes out here with a small little drill and you can actually put it on its own little stand. Now that's if you wanted to do that. I've got a stand, I've got one of these stands in my cupboard and I could put one of those on if I wanted. But I'm not going to do that. So, so here we are. We've got these little intakes here where the air, air intakes are. So that's quite handy as well. And you've got all the wheel wells, like, and you've got the yeah, and the wheel things to put in, which is really, really good. The landing gear, sorry, that's what you call it. And you've got the cockpit, and you can have it either open or you can have it closed. It's up to you which way. Now I might go with the open cockpit. That way you'll be able to see inside the cockpit and you'll be able to see all the dials and switches and stuff, which I think is really a nice touch, nice idea. Very nice. So let's have a look at the decals. So which are transfers or stickers. Some people call them I just call them decals. All those models call them decals. And they're quite glossy, they're nice. Got a nice shine to them. Um they're not I'm not used to having them this small. Um I am building a B fifty two bomber and this thing that I've got here, this jet here, um if I put it near it, it would be like it's just give birth to a little tiny baby. Um, because this thing is tiny. But then again, you get what you pay for. But let's have a... You know, if I got the B-52 out, I'm sure that you'd all be laughing. So, anyway. You get the clear glass with it. So this is your canopy. And this goes over, so you get quite a few parts on that. Then you get the wings, which are not bad at all. I like the styling. I like um, 
you know the uh, the detail is pretty nice nice grooves on the actual wings as well which is quite nice nice touch air fix brilliant absolutely brilliant I can't fault them for it they've really really upped the game since the last couple of air fix years ago they some of the kits were absolutely atrocious flash all over them they had every, all, everything they just it was just not very good at all but they've become great ever since Oh, and you get two pilots here, so you can put two pilots in. So they both look like they're on depressants. <laughs> it's like one's just sat there going, "Yeah, alright, mate. Yeah, I'm alright." The other one's like, oh, "Don't talk to me. I've had problems with the wife. You know what I mean?" Yeah. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> just having a bit of a joke, guys. I probably won't put them in, cause I yeah, I wanna. I want to be able to see the interior. Yeah. I don't want two miserable old men there. So we have the fuselage, which uh, it's not hard, it's not flimsy or anything. It's not like it's going to break on it, which is really, really nice. It's dead uh, clean and crisp, guys. Very, very nice. Uh, <laughs> look at that, you get the seat belts, um, the seat belt thing there, look. Which is a nice detailing. You don't get any detail on the cockpit instrument panel thing. But once you put the decal on, you'll probably be alright. There's the bits for the air intake. And there's your cockpit part there, which isn't that bad. So, that's basically what you get with the Provost uh, T4. Which is all that, basically three sprues, and that basically. So, yeah, um, I would, if I was to rate this kit, I would give it, hmm, I'd give it a decent six out of ten. That's it's not brilliant, but it's all right, and I reckon I'm going to enjoy the build. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a six. So yeah definitely gonna have fun building this one so thank you for watching guys um it really really means a lot uh, that you stick with me and watch all these reviews um, i'm trying to get some new content out i've got the walrus coming soon um by airfix which is one of their new tooling kits also so stay tuned for that and i've got some more progress uh, video reviews to do on the b52 um, because i'll be getting more paints on the second as well so thank you all for sticking with me, watching my videos, and um, just stay tuned guys, like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.